and it gets a little bit cloudy, you might want to head over to the Imagination Station. And this time, we're talking about slime, all things spooky. And Jeff is here to show us maybe how to make some and how to have fun with some. He's already ahead of me on yeah, this. Yeah, I've Hello. got some slime here. Would you mind just holding oh, yeah, yeah, hold yeah, yeah. on to this for me? Uh -huh. All right, Ooh. now. Now this is an incredibly weird slime. It's made with oh war gum. I don't know so if they can get a close-up on it here. Yeah, perfect. Oh, 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 yeah, it's uh -huh. warm. It's because it's mostly water. You know, it retains heat really well. But can you describe to the audience like how it feels? Like it feels like a blob of water that is moving around through my hand. It's almost like a water balloon it with is. no balloon part. Exactly. Okay, like pour it into my hands. You notice your hands are completely clean, right? Like yeah. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Isn't Nothing that amazing? On my hand. This is a really clean, very unique, cool slime. It's made of something called guar gum. Wow. All right. There's a ton of different slime recipes Weird. out there. And I thought we'd make one here today. Yes, this is let's one of my do favorites. That. This but time of year, you like slime and all things yeah. creepy and weird. So let's do it. Some of the main ingredients in most slime recipes are you want some glue. Okay. Some glue. Okay. You want glue. This is, the, and the reason is there's py, uh, polyvinyl alcohol in here or PVA, and white glue and clear glue have different amounts, but we're using clear glue today. Clear glue. All right. And your job is going to be to mix. All right. Okay. So, I think I can handle that. Like if I dye my glue blue, you'll mix in some good blue colors, right? Beautiful. And this recipe here was actually taught to me by a member who came into Imagination Station because she saw that we did slime and she wanted to introduce us to new slime recipes. What? So, so someone, you normally teach people, but a kid decided a kid to teach came you. In. Her name was Trinity, all right? Well, and she, Trinity. she uh, came in and taught me the slime recipe. She says that we're, we're doing it wrong, all right, and that we needed to change up our recipe a little bit. And so she was very concerned about borax levels, and I think she's oh. absolutely right. People put way too much borax in their slime. They end up, Fair enough. They end up uh, just pouring borax in there and it's not really what you want to do uh, in this entire solution I've dissolved just a very tiny amount of borax oh I mean, my look goodness at that that's tiny, barely any barely yeah. any and that's in this entire beaker and we're not even going to use this whole thing you can see you're kind of making some slime I'm right? already making a little right. bit of slime now, it's starting to stick tr together Trinity would tell me you, you need to you need to be patient with your with uh, your slime right and I'm not being very Trinity. patient oh, yeah, there she yeah. is right there that's her and I making is that making, her teaching you she's literally training me how to do this exact same segment that I'm doing is with amazing. You right now. and she would tell me I need to slow down right okay. um, so if you could kind of pull that up you know you can see we're starting to get to some good slime but then what she did is she threw in like she started going around our museum and she found some modeling clay all right and she just threw some modeling clay in she found some foam soap she was just throwing foam soap in oh my goodness and she was way more patient than we have time to be and right we true. ended up making this slime here together all right, so this was what it ended right, up being. This is what magic of television. We already made it. How crazy is yeah, that? Yeah, isn't that crazy? But like, kind of pulled oh, apart. It feels wow. like butter or taffy, and it's like completely ah. clean. And it's just yes. this really cool, amazing. Sl I know that it's is just amazing. like. Amazing. And it, it is very clean. It is very clean. And, and she had like almost no waste. No water was left over. She had it precisely measured out. And so if we can get like a good chunk going, good you can chunk. see. Good chunk. Let's see just, if I can just, some. If you pull it slowly, you can see just the Ooh. amount of distance you can pull. What? This piece of. Ah. Slime here. Oh my god. Right? I mean, this is just one batch of slime ah, that ah, she made. Ah, 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 <laughs> All right, all right, that's fine, that's fine, all right. You can get Whoa. rid of that. Yeah, so yeah. Come, come back over here, come, okay. come back over. Okay, bye slime, bye slime. I figured since um, we are Imagination Station, yes. Trinity was really good at conserving her material and keeping things clean. Yeah. That's not always what we do at Imagination Station. Sometimes things get a little dirty. Science can get a little dirty sometimes, yes. right? Now to reiterate, what I have here for our final little slime demo Ooh. is I have the PVA from the glue, Okay. and then the Sporax solution here, um, which I've also dyed with some highlighter juice. Yeah, that's pretty fun. It's pretty fun, is going to cross-link the the uh, uh, polymers inside of the glue. Okay. So they're like kind of spaghetti noodles and they're gonna end up connecting to one another and giving it that cool slime texture. Awesome, I'm excited to check this so out. So what I want you to do is I'm gonna make it right in your hand. We're gonna do the mixing. Oh, wow. So I'm gonna, I want you to pull okay. it over that bowl, all right? Perfect. And I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna pour these over you at the same time. Hopefully I can do it well enough. All right, <laughs> and you should feel they go from that glue polymer mixture, and you know, just just for fun, we'll throw some spiders in there. Oh, thank you. And, and if, I don't know if they can dim the lights for me, but oh. this this is yeah, hold it up really tall. Yeah, yeah. You can see this is actually oh, this goodness. is actually um, black light slime. You know, it, it's fluorescent slime, so it doesn't glow in the dark, but it fluoresces under black light. Wow. And this is the kind of spooky stuff we like to have at Imagination Station. Oh right? my goodness. And this is that great snot between your fingers slime. This is my favorite. Yum. Right? Thanks know? for that visual. Yeah. Some yeah. Snot. yeah I definitely 
definitely feel those vibes happening right now. My goodness. All right. Well, thanks for making things creepy and fun. And thanks to Trinity for teaching you. For sure. Come check out awesome. our, our spooky science uh, starting on the 26th, going through okay. Halloween. And uh, we have some great things happening this weekend. We have some evil princesses coming in, Ooh, evil pumpkin princesses. carvers, and all that stuff is free with admission. Very cool. So, yeah. So, check it out. It's going to be lots of fun. Check the website. Well, thanks for making my hands a little goopy and oh, yeah. getting let's into the season. Yeah. Yeah. Let's thanks. Just, uh, all right. Can well, we get a tissue? <laughs> we've got more WTOL 11 your day. Just a moment. Stay with us. It'll get.